I know that you and your mom reached out to the AGO after you all watched last year's Organ Fest. And I wonder if you could tell us what you heard on the Organ Fest video that made you want to talk to other organists. Um, like before the um, Zoom call, where we listened to somebody play, that was very inspiring. You were really inspired on that video. I know that it's an inspiring thing, always our conventions. And I also know something about you, that you did all five of the AGO achievement exams this year. That's a really big accomplishment. And I'm wondering if you could tell us how you studied. Um, so me and my teacher like made paper stuff about it. And then like the next week we did the test. And then like I studied for about 30 minutes each day. You worked on it 30 minutes a day. I think that's really good advice for a sixth grade organist. So congratulations on all of that. So can you tell us about the first time that you heard an organ and what that was like? First time I heard an organ was after the um, piano summer camp at St. Thomas and in St. Basil, which is the chapel there. Um, that, was, that was when I first heard the organ. Very good, so that would be the Schoenstein organ at the University of St. Thomas. And how did you feel when you first heard it? I just feel like amazed and like, um, like maybe I should play that instrument one day. I really like that determination. I should play that instrument one day. I wonder, Michael, if you could tell us what is the very best part about being an organist? Like making people happy. Making people happy. So what's the difference then between playing the organ and then playing in an orchestra? Playing the organ, you, it's only one person, but then playing in the orchestra, it's, um, you're playing with multiple people. But playing the organ, you could sound like you're playing with multiple people, but it's only just one person. I think a lot of us like that, <laughs> acting like we're a whole orchestra just by ourselves. So if that is the best part, then what's the most fun piece you have ever played solo on the organ? Probably Bach to Cotton and Fugue. The Bach to Cotton and Fugue, I love that, that's great. Is that the loudest piece you've ever played? Yes. All right, very good. Um, and what about soft pieces? Is that something you like to do? Yeah, kind of. Great. Do you have a favorite soft piece? Probably the swan. The swan. I love it. And what about a favorite organ? Um, my favorite organ is probably the Bach organ in Houston. Oh, very good. That would be the Noack at Christ the King Lutheran Church in Houston. That is a very fine um, Bach organ. As you keep on practicing, what are you planning to do with your music in the future? Probably just be an organist. Be an organist, so you think you're going to keep studying when you're in high school? Yes. Okay, very good. And when you grow up? Mm -hmm. All right, I like that a lot. And so a lot of people, um, when they are studying um, organ, also start getting interested in things like building. So what all do you think goes into building an organ? I think in building an organ, there's like a lot of craftsmanship and a lot of material and space that has to go through it, and then also takes a lot of time. It does take a lot of time. So just as much time as it takes us to practice, it takes the builder to build as well. So that's really good. Um, so I'm wondering how you might help other people learn from your perspective as a sixth grade organist. So do you think that other kids should be interested in the organ like you are? Mm -hmm. Why? Because like organs are a very different instrument and you could do a lot of things with the organ.